And we've made it to Alberta. Let's see what we got up to in Alberta. Ready? One, two, three. A rooster crows and away she goes. Go left. We're at this little town in Hannah that has a public pool, so we decided to stop here for the day since there's a heat warning in effect, and what a great way to stay cool. <laughs> and what did you ask us to do with RV trips? Just go to the slides. <laughs> <laughs> RV trips for water parks, right? <laughs> Just say we went to the pool today. Just say we went to the pool today? And went on the water slides. We went on the water slides, what else? And we, and we went in the kiddie pool. We went in the kiddie pool. Yeah, good. So we just spent uh, a couple hours in Hannah in Alberta, which is uh, northeast uh, of Drumheller, where we're headed to next. And we found out that Hannah is actually the home to the Canadian rock band Nickelback. It might be the claim to fame or shame to fame, depends on how you feel about Nickelback. But either way, they have a really cool pool. Uh, yes, they have a very cool splash pad for kids. Water slide. They have a very cool water they have slide. An awesome water slide. slide that we went on. Would you come back? Yes. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Well, now we're gonna go check out a little cafe, grab a little snack, and continue on towards Drumheller. On the road again. Well, we made it to Drumheller. First, first thing we're doing is getting a picture with the drum, welcome to Drumheller sign, and then off to Boston Pizza for some supper. I dreamt of the year. Look at the scenery. So many times. Whoa, where did Lux just disappear to? Alright, we're here at the Hoodoos, which is a must stop whenever you're in Drumheller. It is also super hot, probably 40 degrees. So we're gonna try and see if we can find a campground so we can hook up and have air conditioning tonight. Sun goes up early to its bedroom wall. I'm walking slow now we have in a town so small. Oh, 
Why'd you do that? Are you doing it too, Ivy? <laughs> Isn't this cool? Friends and strangers. Okay, keep coming. Got it to eat. Yeah, go up, check them out. Go explore. Free Best choice of footwear too again. All the way to the beach. Greet the strangers. Starving me in the street. Magic. What do you think of the hoodoos? Cool. Okay, look at me. Say hoodoos. Yeah. All right, so we're here at our first campground of the entire trip, nine days. But we kind of had to since it was plus 40 last night and we would have had to have ran the generator all night at Walmart. So this was a better option and now we're at a campground that's right in the middle of Drumheller. So we just have to cross the bridge, River Grove Campground. You can walk from your campsite right downtown to the Splash Park. To you the can see some gi a giant T-Rex statue and there be a so little big. dinos around. Yes. And it's so big. It's so big. It's so we're going to go try and find as many dinosaurs as possible in town while it's still a bit the cool campsite. this morning. Um, and then we booked the museum for 1130 because it's going to be a hot day. So we figure we'll hang out there in the air condition. And okay. then we're off to Calgary. The count's on. The count's on. What do you think, Ivy? Scary. You want me to lift you up a little so you can see better? Some will say the mammals took the eggs right from the nests So the dinosaurs never hatched because of these strange pests While others think a nasty plague caused the dinosaurs to die But these seem so unlikely that we still are asking why have been struck from a comet from outer space creating a thick dark dust which blocked the sun from the dinosaur's face did they really get that cold did the plants die then did they have enough to eat though some think so the theories you know are very incomplete where did all the dinosaurs go i wish they were still around
We just finished doing the Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta. It was a really great stop for the heat of the day because we were in the air condition. Um, kids really like seeing all the dinosaur fossils and the skeletons and we learned a lot about dinosaurs. It was way too busy for our liking but it was I fine. Like it. And that's it for our time here in Drumheller. If you're a dinosaur lover, the Tyrell Museum is a cool place to check out. Uh, it was a really nice stop for a hot day, but now we're off to Calgary.